brought to you by Breckenridge Distillery, the official distillery of Sparta Sports Entertainment. And it is three rounds in the Super Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corps, please welcome Sarah Valdez. One hundred twenty-five pound division here at Sparta Sports Entertainment Air Pike Boxing Fight Night. Thirty-one year old Sarah Valdez making her way to the ring. She's five five, hundred twenty-five pounds, making her debut as an orthodox fighter, facing off against Alyssa Bonely. She is twenty years old, has a little bit of a height advantage by two inches at five seven. Also one hundred twenty-five, also making the debut. List her style as boxer. So. Looks to be a fairly even matchup here. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see too. It's always fun to see two debut fighters fight against each other, just to see kind of how they react, how they get used to the ring and stuff like that. It'd be an interesting fight, I think. Always a classic for entrance music, Bad to the Bone. And fighting out of Larry H. Miller Nissan on 104th. Blue corner, Alyssa Bonelli. Alyssa Bonelli making her way to the ring. Still three two-minute rounds. That doesn't change until we get into our professional division. Valdez representing the House of Pain, wearing the all black this evening, facing off against Miss Boneline. She comes to us from Casper, Wyoming, no gym listed, and she's wearing the blue gear this evening. Referee Tim Mills, third in the ring, away we go, punch punch time. Bone line already taking a couple of hard shots. And immediately as Valdez came forward, Bone line was kind of lifting her head up and leaning backward. Try to evade the punches, not quite trusting her guard like you would want your fighter to do. Yeah, and that's something you see with a lot with newer amateur fighters. They kind of keep their guard off of their head. Uh, and that's kind of dangerous too, because if you get a hit in the hand, you can actually end up punching yourself yes. in the face. Quit punching yourself, quit punching yourself. <laughs> Oh, nice left hook there, lands for Valdez. Yeah, Valdez doing a good job of staying composed, not losing losing her cool or anything like that. Oh, and I think they're going to rule that a slip, an entanglement of the feet. Mostly I wanted to say entanglement. Yep. <laughs> right. Oh, now she staggered there. It was bone line. Bone line kind of bites down on the mouthpiece like we referenced. It is their debut fight, and bone line's Kind of finding out what it's about here. Oh, and she waves it off. Says that's going to be it. Took that hard right hand from Valdez. And Bone Line takes the seat. Needs to gather herself for a moment. Referee Doc Alex is going to come in and take a look at things here. Make sure she's all right. Hard to say if maybe she sustained an injury. It was a good right hand to put her put an end to the fight. So, you know, that can rock the jaw. That can cause a problem with an eye or the nose. And they have to take a second to see here. So good 
Good outing for Valdez in her debut. Looked ready to go. Came out, nice guard, good punches. Pressured forward. Did a good job of not losing her cool right off the bat. Not throwing too many punches at the same time for no reason. Did a good job of reining herself back in when she started to throw. Nice debut for Valdez. Left hand, that's the one that kind of started all. I, I had thought it was a right hand from Valdez, but that was the end of it there, so it was the left hand. Actually, excuse me, the rock bone line. And, uh, bone line coming out to the referee. Hey, she's waving the fight off, so. Here we go, we'll get the official time from Mr. Momarts for our first fight that hasn't gone to the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, after one round, referee Tim Mills calls us up to this contest. At one minute, nine seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by TKO, Sarah Valdez. Oh, and how nice for Miss Valdez to hear that from the crowd. That's making her evening. Well done to the House of Pain boxer. She gets to go over and hang out with Bailey Winters for the post fight interview. I'm here now with your winner tonight, Sarah Valdez. Big first round finish for you. How's that feel? It feels awesome. You were just telling me this was your first fight tonight. You were a little worried about the jitters. How did it feel getting in the ring? It felt good. I just was worried that I was going to forget everything I know and everything I've trained. And um, I did for a second. I felt like, oh, I was just throwing wild. But it came back. You got the win pretty quickly. Was that how you expected the fight to go tonight? You know, I didn't really know how it was going to go. It's her first fight, too, so there was nothing really to go off of. So I didn't know how she was going to fight or how she'd come out. So I was just in there to have fun and see how it went. Can we plan to see you back in the ring soon? Yes. All right, congratulations on a great win tonight. Anybody want to thank? I want to thank, first of all, my kids, my family, House of Pain, everyone who supports me, everyone who came tonight. I appreciate you, all of you. Great job tonight. Enjoy your win.